In today's video, I'm going to share with you my first impressions with the Coach Pillow Tabby Shoulder Bag 18. I recently acquired this a couple of weeks ago and I did an unboxing for you, a really quick unboxing. I didn't provide any details or mod shots or anything like that. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you mod shots, what fits, physical features of this bag, including measurements, the price of this bag in Canadian dollars, and my first impressions of the bag. So, you know, whether I like it, whether there are some aspects of this bag that I'm not crazy about. Granted, I have only used this bag once uh, since I unboxed it, and so it is truly a real first impressions. Um, so I can't really comment too much about any pros and cons uh, or any wear and tear because there aren't any. So if that's the type of video that you like, make sure that you are subscribed. If you're not, please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate you stopping by and coming back for more content such as this. So let's begin. So this bag is the Coach Pillow Tabby shoulder bag in size 18 and it is the most cutest, most softest, most pillowy, plush bag that I have ever seen or felt or in my collection or anywhere and I absolutely love it. It is so cute. My first impression is like, oh my gosh, this is so sweet. I can't wait to be rocking this bag in the spring and summer. I absolutely love it. It is a neutral tone bag. This bag is uh, called Ivory on the Coach website and it has kind of gold brass hardware. And although this is a light neutral tone color that is perfect for spring and summer, I can definitely wear this uh, probably in the fall just with you know more of a brown uh, tan tones i think this would really really pair well with um darker colors as well so this is really really cute so let's begin with the price of this bag in canadian dollars this bag retails for $480. There is this bag, which is the small bag, and then there's another bag that is one size larger. And if you are at all interested in this bag, please uh, continue watching till the end of this video, where I will provide you with as much information as possible. So this little bag has quite the very many details. It has a sizable top handle and we're not talking about a, a little little top handle where you can barely put your hand in there like you can totally grab this and you can totally put your your entire arm in here so it's very comfortable so it's not a shoulder bag it's only a top handle but you can definitely put it on the crook of your arm without having it too tight and this strap is also removable which is fantastic. It's removable on both sides. And this bag also comes with a removable and adjustable crossbody strap. Perfect. And it has um, quite a few holes so that you can adjust it to uh, the way you want to wear it. Uh, it has a beautiful logo C here where it's uh, wrapped in leather and then just the surrounding part is in gold hardware uh, gold hardware on the sides here absolutely beautiful and the coach luggage tag is plush and it's so cute how adorable is this it has no feet at the bottom which is fine typically when bags are a small size there is no feet it has no back pocket and the measurements of this bag, all in inches, are seven and a quarter, four inches, and two and a half inches. So it's a small bag, but as you can see, it is pretty thick and 
you can definitely put all of your essentials in here. And a little bit later on in this video, you will see exactly what I put in this bag. And I typically would probably wear this bag most often for a night out because I, I just think it's that bag where it's cute and feminine. And I just absolutely love this bag. So the drop of this strap is 21 and a half. So it is fairly long. There's a loop here so that this doesn't flap away. It has a button snap closure. I didn't take the blue protective tape off of it. Usually when it comes to a brand new bag, I like to keep the tape on for as long as possible. And sometimes I even have the tape on for more than a year. Um, but <laughs> that's just me. I'm uh, funny that way. But the uh, logo part, uh, like the buckle part of this bag, as you can see, it's pretty hefty here. It has uh, the uh, gold underneath here and a pretty a large oval um, snap closure. Opening it up, you reveal um, a divider in the middle and it has two large compartments, the, the front being a little bit more larger than the back. Um, I think, it, I mean, yeah, I, I think it, they're kind of the same. I'm just stretching it open here, but yeah. And then it has a slit pocket at the back and cognac a leather trim for this pocket and the you know the the usual coach uh, label back here is also in a cognac leather patch which I think is really cute it just adds a little bit of elevation to this bag I've worn this bag only once and I really loved it I carried my phone keys a perfume um, and other things that I will show you um, what fits my first impressions of this bag, I absolutely love it. It is so cute. It is something that is unique. It's trendy at somewhat of an affordable price in comparison to other contemporary luxury brands. Um, and, you know, I wanted to treat myself. It's been a while since I purchased uh, something, you know, in terms of a bag and with the other luxury brand houses skyrocketing with their pricing you know at this time it's not feasible to purchase from other brands so i wanted to go back to you know where it all kind of all started you know in my in my 20s in my 30s it, it started with coach and i love coach i've always loved coach there were some times where there was like a long gap where I wasn't crazy about Coach, but there are a few pieces on the Coach website that um, I'm currently eyeing, like the Crescent bag. But yeah, Coach is, whether it's making a comeback or is just something that, you know, I'm more focusing more on, I love Coach and I think I've always had that love for Coach. So I'm really glad that I picked up this piece. Um, so yeah, I, I, I love all the features of this bag. I love the, the style of it. I love the leather of it. Uh, you know, you do have to be careful with this leather because it is ultra soft and ultra smooth. So, you know, you have to totally be careful with, you know, color transfer at the back, um, and at the bottom. And because it's so soft, you know, I, I kind of worry about the corners scratching, um, but I can't tell you uh, about any wear and tear in this video only because I've only worn it once and I've only had it for a couple of weeks now. So, um, but yeah, this, this is a really, really cute bag. Although it's a feminine, cute piece, I love the hardy old hardware. Some of the cons that I picked up on right away is that little knob over there. I'm concerned that when you hold it up, or even if I display it on my shelf on a hook, I'm concerned that the the little knob over here will press against the soft leather and then make a dent. That's something that I have to keep an eye out for, and hopefully um, it's actually nothing at all, but 
I just I want to share that with you because that was something that I noticed uh, right away uh, of concern. Uh, again, I I will do a thorough review on you know pros and cons and all that uh, a little later um, once I've had the chance to wear this bag more often. And again, as I do with most of my bags, I will provide that video in the future. But um, but this is just a first impression. So uh, my my first impressions is that I think that this bag is really, really cute. And it's a top seller for Coach. So it was something that I wanted to pick up and just add to my collection because it's been a while since I've had uh, purchased a bag uh, from Coach. So we will now show you what fits in this bag and mod shots. So just to share an up close and personal look at this bag very plush very smooth very gushy leather it has glazing on the side of the strap here the top handle is also soft and gushy uh, this part is gushy and soft I'm wearing this as a top handle. Wearing this on the crook of your arm. Taking the adjustable strap and wearing it as a shoulder strap. And then as a crossbody, I love bags that have multi functions and uh, ways to wear it. Cute. Changing the angle of the camera for a bird's eye view of what fits in this bag. I begin with adding in my phone, the uh, latest phone case from Amazon, which I will link in the description box. I'm currently filming off of my phone, so I'm just adding in the case. I'm also adding in my six key ring holder from Louis Vuitton, hand sanitizer, a perfume sample, a lip maximizer from Christian Dior, and you can add a little bit more to really maximize the space in this bag. I will show you other options of what fits in this bag if you remove the large phone case from the back pocket. I can add in tissues, add in a compact mirror, you can add in a comb, hand lotion, candy. Lastly, adding in a card holder. This one is from Chanel. And unfortunately, the phone cannot fit at this time, but that is fine because I usually do hold my phone in my hand most often, so that works for me as well. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that my first impression video of this bag was helpful to you in making the decision on whether you want to purchase this bag or not. I will leave uh, the necessary links in the description below if you're interested. And I look forward to using this bag for the upcoming season and rocking it because I think that this bag will go with most of my outfits uh, this spring and summer. So I'm really happy about that. And so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got something out of it. And let me know your thoughts of this bag. Do you have this bag? Are you thinking about purchasing this bag? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.
everything felt just fine and we were just laughing